them to heavy dist. The trick is like, there's two ways you can fight the hurricane. At super close range, but which is risky, or at like crazy high range. But I just don't see like the crazy high range being... Our stab is there, he's ready. <clears throat> I was gonna do a no guns pass, but I guess not. <laughs> Too far, too far. Wasting your shots, wasting your shots. Rebuilding. Right, so now we've passed through. You getting your guns back up? Yep, I'm full. Yeah, shield's coming back up. Here he comes. And then Delta merge. Reloading. Reloading. A lot of roly polies. Fuck, I have to reload all the time. Okay. I think we got hold, it. Hold the reload, hold the reload. Let's get our shields back. Because he can't stay with us. We can we can just work him down slowly. <clears throat> oh I think I think I just proved Snedeb wrong. <laughs> it's not about proving right or wrong, it's about understanding game mechanics. Because like I know. right now Just LT LT competition. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I want you to hold fire until I say, okay? Roger. So I'm going to Delta merge him here, see what he does. 2100. Come on. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ah! Okay, engage now. Push, push, push. Reloading, reloading. Firing. Yeah, there That's we go. It. When we got no damage, <clears throat> we could do this all day. The thing, the trick is to push at certain points. The trick is not to open up until you get within weapons range. That's that's the real trick. Yeah, otherwise it's just a corkscrew, um, away from the shots. Mm -hmm. Mm, turn hard. Too far. Like this right now, you're just wasting your ammo. Mm. Right? Now you can fire. Right? Lots of hits here. Reloading. Yeah, see, all, all those shots you fired before were wasted yeah. shots, right? There we go. See, now you need oh, the ammo. Wing. Let's, let's chase. Yeah, toast. Snellib right. is a very strategic pilot. Uh, I, you know, I think he uh, he's trying to avoid the shot at keeps some distance. I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. But I think the hurricane is just too powerful. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. So here, we'll, we'll try to, again, right, hold fire until, see, now he's yeah. going to, we're going to delta merge in. We're going to eliminate his momentum. We're going to stay close. And now we're going to push in on him. See this, all, right, all that shooting right there, waste it. Yeah. I just realized that it. it's just that his uh, his distance is kind of hiding behind your name. <laughs> it's all good, right? So he's re he's really hurt there. He took a lot of damage, so he has forced him to disengage. So now we get our shields up too. He's coming back in again, right? Delta merge on him. Yeah, see lots of hits there. So hold fire. Now yep. fire, because now I've got the spot on you. I'm gonna try and roll to keep you in position for as the gunner. 
Reloading. He's getting a little more aggressive, which is good. Good for us. Again, right? So, like, a lot of corkscrews here to get, get himself out of danger. Yeah, we're going to pull through. Because he's, like, critical structure. So, like, we have the advantage here in the sense that we can play the game, right? Mm -hmm. So, if he wants to get his shields up, that's cool. Because we have so much more stopping power. Because when we're in the zone and we're good to go, then it's, it's game over. Because we can drop his shields significantly faster than he can drop ours. And if you put your position in 12 o'clock, or sorry, 6 o'clock, like behind us, right? I, I if am. he tries yep. to close on us, we can push him away. So we get to dictate when we get to take the fight, which is really powerful, right? Because right now I can spend time building up my power, building up my energy, getting my capacitors charged up for the next engagement. And now once I have the advantage I'm looking for, then I can decide, okay, you know what? Let's start, let's start bringing the fight back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly limit the delta, like the differential between my acceleration and his. So as he closes, I want him to only close on me at a certain speed, right? That's why I'm going to delta merge on him here. Push my bottom thrusters because I want to go across his nose here. So he's slowly moving in. Now we can engage. And there it is. And we have no shield damage. Oof. Because by the time, like, again, right, if you fight a hurricane at high energy, you're totally screwed. Interact with each other. So what is this, round four? Yeah, it's a good challenge for sure because he's uh, he's very good at uh, being strategic against those type of ship. Mm -hmm. But it's the high energy that's going to get him killed, though. Right, Delta merge him again here. If he wants to shoot at 1500. Okay, so see how he's a little bit further away? Now we want to push in a little closer. Now we want to engage, see what he does. Now I'm boosting towards him because he's trying to keep his distance. Now he's going to try and extend his turn. Building. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping some pressure on him. So if I can just keep his shields down, then when we... So right now, now's the time to push. There we go, there it is. Okay, so this is how many lives have we... It's 4-0, four, four oh, right? Right? So there you have it, guys. Um, this was a good test. You know, the Snalib was requesting that we take a we take a hurricane that's fully crewed and we fight the Gladius and we kind of do it at high speed. And you know, Snalib did a great job at kind of keeping uh, the distance control he was kind of looking for. But in situations like this, um, if you just make small opportunities uh like basically small jousting passes if you delta merge at the right times to kind of keep the differential against each other then uh, it's going to be extremely difficult for an enemy in a gladius uh, and, in, and even at the end here in an m50 uh, which which did great but it's like once you get outside of that 500 meters if you're making that small corkscrew uh, you're gonna you're gonna avoid all the fire but if the hurricane pilot can close to within less than 400 or 500 at, at certain points during the fight, um, the amount of DPS that the hurricane has is just insane. It truly is, right? So these are your options when it comes to fighting a hurricane. Um, and yeah, in my, in my initial assumption about the hurricane still stands. Um, obviously, Snellip has been highly successful against other hurricane pilots, especially in the Persistent Universe. You know, because uh, it's tough. It's hard to manage the momentum of something like a hurricane. But if you can manage the momentum, if you can get yourself within that 500 meter zone um, and, and, and kind of cut off the angles that the enemy is trying to work on you. I mean, the hurricane is just an absolute monster. It truly, truly is. Right. So but it was a great test. It was great to see uh, how important it is to kind of make those opportunities, because if I stayed, if I let him stay at the ranges he was looking for. Uh, it just would have been a slow death every time, right? So great flying by Snelly. It was a great opportunity to kind of dive deep into the game's mechanics and kind of give you guys tools you need to kind of uh, make the best out of a situation, right? All right, guys, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you're entertained. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support that all you folks have shown me in the last few days. It's been a wild ride, but it's exciting as we move into the future. We have broken over 9,000. <laughs> it's over 9,000 uh, YouTube um, 
YouTube followers. So I'm excited, guys. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time here at the Avenger stream and, and YouTube, right? So, all right, folks, that's all I got for you today. Take a look at Predator Mounts. If you're interested in getting mounts for your sticks, use the code Avenger1 if you want to get a discount. I hope to see your smiling faces all out for stream. And for the next YouTube video, thank you so much. I was Avenger1, and I'll see you next time.